We are a small family-owned business in the Napa Valley, California, called Gurgic Hills Estate. We are growing grapes and making top-notch wines. So in, in uh, the way we farm, uh, organic, biodynamic, regenerative farming, biodiversity is crucial. Our idea is not to kill, exterminate and everything. We, in nature, is not about extermination, is keeping everything in check. And so our boxes and the small bird boxes, bluebird boxes are an integral component of our farming. Plus, we do not till soil, so lots of biodiversity there, and that's what attracts birds. The main theme to my work here at Humboldt is the relationships between wildlife and their habitats, and then how those ecological ideas relate to conservation and management practices. So I have a big interest in farmlands. By providing nest boxes for things like barn owls and bluebirds and swallows, farmers have the opportunity to do something really good for these birds. The birds can then do something helpful for the farmers. We estimate um, that a, an average barn owl family kills a thousand rodents in the nesting season. And then if you extrapolate that through the whole year, then that estimate is about almost 3,500 rodents over the course of the year. Barn owls are not territorial, so you can put barn owl boxes pretty close together. We often recommend even two per acre. Barn owls are helping us to lower the amount of rodents and especially gophers, which uh, love to munch on our young plants. I would not say that 27 barn owl houses did everything, but it was a big part of managing population of golfers to a level that uh, they don't destroy that many plants. They can survive with loss of 0.5%. One of the most important findings in Napa is that the composition of different habitats or land cover types within a kilometer or even up to two kilometers radius around the box, it really matters. Boxes are more likely to be occupied if there are a lot of natural or uncultivated habitats nearby, specifically grasslands, oak woodlands and riparian habitats. The key is some open habitats. So in the Central Valley, some of the row crops, some of the pasture, some of the grasslands, those are providing open habitats, even if they're under cultivation. Then we have uh, something, we call them voles. They girdle plant. They eat around and they stop uh, nutrients and water flowing up and plant dies. So our farming is no-till. So we do grow cover crop. When we don't remove all that vegetation, when we just cut it, there is much less damage. It's not just that the, the owls are doing their job. I think when we leave that cover crop and roots, they have something to chew other than our grapevines. We've been studying barn owl occupancy for a number of years in Napa Valley. And we have learned some important patterns. And one is that the, the barn owls strongly prefer wooden boxes over plastic boxes. The design of the box doesn't seem as important as the material. Wooden is better than plastic. Owls prefer boxes facing north or east. In terms of the height, probably just 10 feet or more is fine. You just wanna make sure that you're able to access it and clean it out as you need to. They want an, a clear pathway getting to the box. One of their predators is great horned owls. And great horned owls, you know, occur in more wooded habitats. So barn owls stay in those more open type habitats. We have over 250 of those uh, small boxes and most of them occupied, but I would say 60% swallows. And then uh, we have lots of bluebirds. If you come to our vineyard, uh, you will be bombarded by these incredible sounds of birds and insects and bees. And then you go to neighbor that is chemically farmed, there's a silence, deafening silence. I would strongly believe that uh, wildlife can sense health and they are attracted to health. Every year, we, my goal is to plant at least a thousand uh, either flowers or shrubs. Now there's at least a uh, hundred big trees uh, from uh, 30 feet to 100 feet, all kinds of trees and uh, probably two, three thousand shrubs hearing all these birds, it's something that money cannot buy you. Uh, we are here for a purpose, to enjoy and be part of this great nature. One of the things I'm really struck with every time I talk to farmers is they very much are attuned to the idea that barn owls can help control rodent pests. But they also almost uniformly appreciate the owls themselves, the intrinsic value of the owls. 
to me, it speaks to, you know, one of the most fundamental questions in all of ecology, maybe all of life. And that is, you know, what is our relationship with the rest of nature? And trying to find win-win situations where, you know, we're doing things that are good for nature and nature's helping us out. That's what it's all about.